Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about single phase full wave AC voltage controller with purely resistive load. Okay. So here we are in the circuitry for full wave AC voltage controller. It consists of the supply Vs, which is equal to Vm into sine of omega t, right? It is a fixed ray AC voltage we are having vm sin omega t we are using two thyristors t1 and t2 these two are connected in anti parallel okay so t1 and t2 connected in anti parallel next the load is purely resistive voltage across load is v0 current flowing through the load is i0 okay now here as both the thyristors here we are having both the switches are the controlled switches okay so that's why we will be getting the positive cycle corresponding output and the output voltage corresponding to the negative cycle, right? Both will be the controlled one, okay? That's why it's known as the single phase full wave, okay? It is a full wave, okay? If you recall in the half wave, here instead of thyristor T2, yes, we were having the diode, okay? Now, Vs, Vm sin omega t, so from 0 to pi Vs positive, pi to 2 pi Vs negative, 2 pi to 3 pi Vs is positive only, okay? Next, so when Vs is positive, yes, the polarity will be plus here, minus here, this highest potential point, this is the lowest potential point. Highest potential is appearing at the anode of thyristor T1, lowest will appear at the cathode of thyristor T1. Okay, so can we say that when Vs is positive, thyristor T1 will be in the forward bias mode. Similarly, when Vs is negative, what will happen? The polarity will be reversed. Okay, so polarity is reversed means what? Yes, polarity is reversed means thyristor T2 will be in the forward bias mode, thyristor T1 will be in the reverse bias mode now. Okay. So let us discuss the circuit operation for different intervals. Okay, circuit operation for different intervals. So first, when Vs is equal to or omega t is equal to 0 to alpha. Okay, so for omega t is equal to 0 to alpha, right? So for omega t is equal to 0 to alpha, if you check, yes, thyristor T1 will be in the forward blocking mode right now what about the thyristor t2 thyristor t2 will be in the reverse blocking mode okay so here when vs is positive yes we are having vs the polarity will be this is a plus here minus here okay thyristor t1 and thyristor t2 both will be in the yes off state right thyristor t1 and t2 both will be in the off state where it is t1 we are having suppose i am writing here t2 is in a reverse blocking mode okay so now here t1 and t2 both are in the off state because both are in the blocking mode right so that's why it will be like open circuit next r load and here yes r this voltage is v0 and current is a i0 this is a vs okay so now if you check for this circuit as both the thyristors are in the off state yes what is i0 i0 will be 0 because current will not flow from source towards the load what is v0 v0 is equal to i0 into r is equal to 0 volt okay so v0 is equal to 0 i0 is equal to 0 right so from 0 to alpha v0 is 0 i0 is also 0 next from alpha to pi right at alpha now we are going to apply the gate signal okay so from omega t is equal to from omega t is equal to alpha to pi from omega t is equal to alpha to pi yes what will happen here we are in the supply voltage vs right vs positive means plus here minus here right now we have applied the gate signal to the thyristor t1 because at alpha we have applied the gate signal to the thyristor t1 okay the thyristor t1 will turn on right and the current will be flowing this is a r v0 here it is a i0 this is a thyristor t1 here it is a t2 okay so current will be flowing from vs t1 load and again back to the vs okay so in this loop the current will be flowing okay now if we apply kvl we will be getting v0 is equal to vs and i0 is equal to what v0 by r which is equal to vs by r okay so from alpha to pi v0 is equal to vs i0 is equal to vs by r okay so here thyristor t1 will be in the on state okay so v0 will be same as that of the supply voltage and i0 will be in phase with the v0 right 
नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम पाई टू पाई प्लस अल्फा फ्रॉम ओमेगा टी इज इक्वल टू पाई टू पाई प्लस अल्फा सो फॉर ओमेगा टी इज इक्वल टू पाई टू पाई प्लस अल्फा यस पाई टू पाई प्लस अल्फा वॉट विल हैपन सो हियर वेर एम द सप्लाई वोल्टेज वी एस ओके नाउ सप्लाई वोल्टेज इज रिवर्स सो इट इज अ प्लस माइनस दिस इज अ वी एस राइट सो हियर both the thyristors will be the off state thyristor t1 reverse blocking mode thyristor t2 forward blocking mode right because thyristor t2 is in the forward bias mode but we have not applied the gate signal we are going to apply the gate signal to thyristor t2 at pi plus alpha okay so next so both the thyristors will be in the off state so r this is a v0 this is a i0 so during this interval if you check yes this is a thyristor t1 this is a t2 okay So current will not flow from source towards the load. So I zero is zero. What is the V zero? Right? V zero also equal to I zero into R. It is also equal to zero volt. Right? This is from pi to pi plus alpha. So if you check V zero and I zero from pi to pi plus alpha, both are zero. Okay? Next, from pi plus alpha to two pi, from omega t is equal to pi plus alpha to two pi, or omega t is equal to pi plus alpha. Two two pi, right? So during this interval, if you check, now thyristor T two is turned on. Supply voltage is negative, so thyristor T two is turned on. So it is a minus here, plus here. So thyristor T two, T one is in the off state. T two is turned on. Okay. So and here load is a purely resistive, right? So this is a R. This is a V zero. This is a I zero. T one, T two. Okay, so from this, if you check, yes, current will flow from V S load T two and again back to the V S. In this loop, the current will be flowing. Okay, so for this circuit, if you apply K V L, it is like plus V S plus V zero is equal to zero. So from this, can we say that V zero is equal to minus V S? Yes, V zero is equal to minus V S. So load voltage is negative. What is I zero? I zero is equal to V zero by R, which is equal to what minus V S by R. So I zero is minus V S by R. V zero is equal to minus V S. I zero is equal to minus V S by R. Okay. So if you check from pi plus alpha to two pi, V zero is same as that of the supply voltage, but it is a negative, right? I zero is in phase with the V zero, right? This is this is from pi plus alpha to two pi, right? Next after two pi, what will happen? The same cycle goes on repeating. Okay. So if you check corresponding to the Positive half cycle in the output we are getting the yes controlled pulse okay means if we vary the alpha definitely the area under this pulse will be varying okay means we can vary the positive half cycle similarly corresponding negative half cycle thyristor T two will be turned on okay and again where we we can vary the firing angle alpha for the thyristor T two right and accordingly yes we can vary the magnitude corresponding to the output voltage right magnitude of the output voltage corresponding to the negative half cycle of the supply okay means both are the controlled pulses we will be getting okay so that's why it is known as the full wave that's why it is known as the full wave is this clear okay so this is about the circuit operation now we are going to discuss the derive the expressions output voltage rms value v0 rms v0 rms so if you check v0 rms V zero RMS yes is equal to what we can write it as a if you check the waveform whatever the pulse we are having from zero to two pi the same is repeating from two pi to four pi okay so it is like a one by two pi we can write it as a one by two pi yes one by two pi into integration from alpha to pi yes it is a V M square into Sine square of omega t into d omega t, right? Plus integration from pi plus alpha to two pi. Again, it is same as that of the supply voltage during this interval also. So it is a V M square into sine square of omega t into d omega t, right? To the power one by two. Okay. So further, we can write it as is equal to yes. We can put we can take V M square outside. So it is a V M upon Root two pi, right? V M upon root two pi. Okay, into yes, this can be written as integral sine square of omega t can be replaced with one minus cos of two omega t. So it is a one minus 
cos of 2 omega t divided by 2 into d omega t plus integration from pi plus alpha to 2 pi it is again 1 minus cos of 2 omega t divided by 2 into d omega t right to the power 1 by 2 Okay, so we can write it as is equal to. Can we take this to outside? Yes, it is a Vm upon two root pi. Okay, into yes, this can be written as omega t minus integration of cos. It is a sine of two omega t. Sine of two omega t divided by two. Limit alpha to pi. Plus this can be written as omega t. Integration of this should be the sine. Okay, integration of cos it is the sine of two omega t divided by two, and limit pi plus alpha to two pi. Okay, to the power one by two. Okay, so now we can simplify it as yes, it is V m upon two root pi into it is a pi minus alpha. Okay. Next minus sine of two pi. Sine two pi is zero. Okay, so it is a plus sine of two alpha divided by two. Okay, plus two pi minus pi minus alpha. So two pi minus pi, it is a pi. So it is again pi minus alpha. Okay, so this is also pi minus alpha. This is also pi minus alpha. Okay, two pi minus pi is a pi, right? So minus alpha. Next minus sine of two into two pi. Sine four pi. It will be zero. Okay. Next sine of two into pi plus alpha. So it is the sine of two pi plus two alpha. This can be written as sine of two alpha divided by two. Okay, to the power one by two. So further we can write it as is equal to V m upon two root pi into yes two into pi plus alpha plus sine two pi. Sine of two alpha by two plus sine of two alpha by two, so it is like a sine of two alpha. We can write like this to the power one by two, right? Either we can write in this way, or we can write it as two into. And we are going, if we take this to outside, then also it will be correct. Okay, so this is about V zero RMS. Next, what is I zero RMS? I zero RMS is equal to V zero RMS divided by R right V zero R M is divided by R. What is the load power? Load power is equal to yes. It is a I zero R M square into R. I zero R M square into R right. Next, what is the conduction time of each thyristor? Conduction time of each thyristor. Conduction time of each thyristor. Yes, is equal to. If you check the waveform, you will understand thyristor T1 is in the onset from alpha to pi. So it is a pi minus alpha, right? Pi minus alpha divided by omega, right? Conduction time of each thyristor. It is a pi minus alpha by omega, right? Are you getting the point? Okay. Also, we can find the input power factor, right? Because when any of the thyristor will be the onset, I S and I zero will be same. Right, so therefore I S and I zero will be same. So therefore input power factor we can write is equal to what load power divided by V S I S. But I S and I zero R M S both are same. So it is a V zero R M S into I zero R M S divided by V S into I S. Right, these two are same. So therefore is equal to V zero R M S upon V S. Okay, so this is about the single phase full wave AC voltage controller with purely resistive load. In the next video, we are going to discuss same circuit for R L load. Thank you.